What is going on my Ronin family? Elijah here back with another video and today we're going to be jumping further into pixels. Let me start off by saying that I have been super addicted to this game playing nonstop and expanding as much as possible trying to learn the ins and outs of this very complex economy and ecosystem and in this video I'm going to try to help you get started a little bit more on your journey maybe point you in the right direction of the things that you can be doing straight out of the gate. I think that this game has an extremely bright future and you've probably noticed that it's off to a very promising start within the Ronin ecosystem. People are flocking to the game. I did a more general overview in my last video. So let's jump further into gameplay. Now, this is my main plot 4045 at the moment in terms of the amount of industries and effort that I put into it. And this has been one of my favorite parts getting to interact with people. You're going to be <laughs> in my new YouTube video. I think Kagi did the same sort of thing here while he was recording. And I've just really enjoyed having people come to my land and use the resources, have fun, interact. And I think that the social component is one of the biggest factors in this game. So this is a great question actually. After using the drill, how do I use my Ironite? So what he's talking about here, if you're new to the game, you can see these mines. Now these are very important for the long term. Leveling up your mining ability will allow you to harvest a series of elements. Ironite, clay, salt block, and Voitonium, which is the rarest in the game. It is a 5% drop chance. And I think that more use cases will be brought to such a rare resource in the future. Um, but I'm gonna tell this player here, head over to plot 280 i have some um kilns over there and you can bookmark it and use the ironite to make ironite bars and so why don't we just join him for a second because this is something that if you want to get involved maybe you can just follow this loop you're more than welcome to use my land it's obviously very appreciated there's a little surplus that goes towards me whenever people use it first before i jump over there here are my lands now you can bookmark a land very easily by coming here clicking it and then hitting bookmark so if you you want to come visit mine you're more than welcome to do so you can plant crops here as well which I'll get to in a second but if I just want to jump over to 280 real quick you can see that he is harvesting out of the three mines I had on my waterland and then he can come here and you can start at the beginning you'll need to level up just like everything else in this game your ceramicist abilities and then once you do that to a certain point I can make bricks blocks of bricks and then I'm gonna keep leveling up further to eventually get to glue which has a pretty high sales price it's needed to get further into the industries it's used for building things and putting together kits but right at the beginning you're going to be making iron bars so you're simply going to hit create with the ironite that you just harvested from my mines and then just like that you're going to be gaining ceramicist xp as well as mining xp from using my lands and then also i have this one here and again this is 280 it's a very beginner friendly plot lots of trees which you get an axe almost immediately when you start playing this game in the very beginning talk to jack and jill at the south end of terra villa and they will give you one you can come here and chop these down and then you can take that wood and come right on over here to the saw and you're going to start small with something like a stick and then work your way up to a plank and then as you go you can make more and more advanced materials and level up faster you can see that the higher more advanced equipment that you make gives you more experience and this is just a matter of time you know putting in the work showing up and harvesting from all of these industries now if you have a large plot you can have four industries as I do here and then my water plot this is technically a small land so I can only have three industries and you'll see that I chose mines for all three here before I go any further I just want to shout out the pixels community. This is a bit of a conversation from earlier. I jump into the land owner section of the discord and I'm flooded with love. It was so nice. And two people in particular, Biebs and Warlock really hooked me up. It's collectively, they gave me three user generated pieces of art. So two bonsai trees, one pink, one green, and this amazing Ronin user generated content right here. It's kind of like a big Ronin billboard and I love it. Social interactions, the connections, it's really wonderful to see this organically from a community which Pixels most certainly has it. Join the Discord, ask questions in there if you're not already in there and you will gain a lot of info. So back to if you're brand new for a second, you're gonna be exploring Terra Villa. Now there's a lot of content out there already about how to get started. But as I mentioned, Jill and Jack, they'll give you an ax. And then you'll also very soon realize that you can harvest pot berries. This is sort of the lifeblood of the ecosystem aside from the berry token itself. This really makes the world go round right now. And there's a very high demand for it because everyone's trying to level up and progress in the game. So you're really going to want to focus on your farming skills in the beginning and try to harvest as many pot berries as you possibly can. I'm going to plant some here in just a second. 
But I'm also gonna go ahead and buy four new drills so I can show you just exactly how to start mining if that's something that you wanna do. And if you wanna use my land, it would be greatly appreciated. So if I go back over to my space land, which is the rarest type in the game, this is where I'll be able to eventually acquire some Voidtonium. Now I've got these four drills. These are what you need to get started. So all you have to do is click the mines and then the drill will be deposited and then you can get started. All I have to do is click each one from there and then it's gonna take about an hour and a half to gather the resources. It's definitely in your benefit to get started on this now. As the game progresses, you will be further along than you know all of the new players that are coming in in the future. And I do suggest thinking long-term with pixels, not just going after strictly farming pot berries and selling them. It's obviously a great starting point, but you wanna learn beyond that, think beyond that, think about the bigger picture, you know, make some bigger goals within the game. And then as far as farming goes, you know, it's fairly self-explanatory. You plant the seeds, you give them a little bit of water, every crop is different in its growth time and pot berries. I think it's just a minute flat before they appear. Now, this sort of thing I just did with the drills, you can do it in a bunch of different industries. So if you go buy two chickens in Terra Villa, you can add them to the coop here. So then when you come to my land, you can go and repeat the drilling. You can go and collect eggs from the coop and you're growing in multiple avenues. You're not a one trick pony. You're not just collecting on the farming front. And this is gonna give you the most versatility as you move along your journey. So here, we're just gonna finish harvesting. Click, click, click. This always feels kind of nice. So in summing up sort of the empire that I'm trying to build, and I wanna make user-generated content as well, meditate content all throughout my lands. But right now, I've got 280, which is more of my beginner plot. You can bookmark this one straight out of the gate for some woodworking and I have maximum soil here. I also have the mill, which you can explore. And then I have my water plot, a bit more mid range. It's got the mines. All of my lands have coops, so you can put chickens in those if you like. And I also have a mill over here. And then lastly, if you bookmark, 1745 as well. You're gonna be in the more advanced mining area eventually for the rarest resources that you can find in the game, such as Voitonium. Hopefully you will pin all three of them and come visit me throughout the day and do what you gotta do. Use the land, use the resources that I have. There's so much to cover in this game that like, I can't even really begin to scratch the surface in just one or two videos. I would definitely bookmark this website and I'll leave a link for it in the description below. This site has so many resources, it has guides to get you through the quests. And then here under skills, I really love being able to go through and see like, what is the progression for farming? You know, at what point am I able to get water mint, which is a very popular resource right now because it sells for a really nice margin. And we can see that I need to be farming level 11 for that to happen. I also need to be on water land, right? So there's just all these little details and you have to do some digging, but it's worth it and it's satisfying and it's fun to understand this game more and more and you can go through every industry understanding what each one does and take a look at this tweet from Jiho as I wrap this up he said for the first time since Axie overtook crypto kitties in early 2019 a game has at least momentarily passed Axie in some engagement and traction metrics congratulations pixels online. That is pretty crazy. The boom is happening for sure. And while there is some, you know, rush of profitability with harvesting pot berries right now and the margins that are there, we have to remember that the core base community in this game has loved it, has cherished it for a couple years. And we're talking about thousands of players. I think there was like 5,000 people before. Uh, so it's not just empty hype. The foundation for this into being a long-term successful Web3 project is all there and I can see why. It's very addicting, it's very fun. They're adding new elements constantly. I am so bullish and I want you guys to be a part of it, hopefully. So let me know what you wanna see next from the pixels side of things, You know what I can cover. I'm probably gonna get into the slug industry, honestly, pretty soon, which will be fun. I'll probably do a video on that once I figure out where I'm gonna place those between the four lands that I own. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this process. And oh, by the way, guys, I've been playing Origins. I'm in the top 100, I'm 75 right now. It's been a really competitive season and it seems like we've got a lot of Mama Sandal teams versus like bird and mech teams that are, you know, immortal essentially, both of them having a second life. I might come through with some Origins content as we wrap up the season. I would love to hear your thoughts on how this season is going. And for now, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Look forward to seeing you in the Pixels universe, hopefully, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.